Oh, hell yeah, that was some badass stuff right there. Kings Never Die, and that track right there was called Stay True. And you wouldn't believe it, but I am on the phone right now with uh, Dan of Kings Never Die. How's it going, Dan? Vicky, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm doing great. I'm right doing now. great. Everything's great. And, you know, like, I, like when we spoke previously, before we came on air, yeah. I just want to thank you... Uh, for for having us, having Kings Never Die, just a part of the station and the program, and also just want to thank everybody or anybody that's tuned into the station right now and is just taking the time to listen to the song or the interview. Like, just want to thank people in advance just for tuning in. Oh, right on. That is so cool. <laughs> Heck yeah. So, what have you guys been up to these days? Well, we're putting out this record called All the Rats. So that is pretty much what we're doing. <laughs> right you on. know, like, it, it's just, it's like an exciting time. You know, like any time you, you are going to release a record and you're preparing for the release of the record, you're also working on, okay, when the record comes out, you know, yeah. uh, touring schedule, booking shows, and but but the media end of it, and or the part where like the album is out there and there's, you know, you start to, you know, thankfully get reviews and see other people's opinions of what we created as a band. That's really like the most exciting thing to see, you know, what their take of the record is, what songs they may like, you know, what's the review? Like everybody says, oh, we don't care what the review is. like. You know, yeah, we care with the review. Like we, we put yeah. our heart and soul exactly. into this record, and you know, like everything matters to us. You know what I mean? We're at a point yeah. where we don't we don't have to do this. Uh, we love to do it. That's right. So yeah, so when when you when you're doing something you love and you're getting to create music and have a band with, with really. Uh, you know, I mean, younger kids now will call like, well, like their friend group or whatever. Like, you know, <laughs> this band came to be through relationships, friends, just coming together and doing something that we all love to do. That's so, so badass. right now, that's the most exciting thing. You know, the record gets released May 26th. That's big because then everybody gets to hear the rest of the record, which, Hell you know, yeah. in my opinion... Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, like, you know, the two songs that are released to this point, Make Them Anymore and Stay True, and now this one's for you is actually available digitally. There's not, like, a, an actual video for it. Okay. Uh, there's a lyric video for it. But, you know, t those songs are on side A, and personally, I think side B is, is better than side A. You know what I mean? So right I'm excited for people to hear the entire spin. I'm excited you know what I mean? too. <laughs> like, yeah, the album's like a like it, you want the record to take you on a ride. Oh yeah, like the messages, the stories, yes, the, you know the lyrical content and the music, and you know this is more upbeat, this is harder, this is yes, you know. So I'm just excited. We're just excited about it making me excited <laughs> cannot wait to hear the rest of it myself but the one that i just played right there that was one of my favorites so far so we were talking just before coming on air and uh you were mentioning how you're the one that writes the lyrics no no uh, i mean I, I do i do write uh I, I have a you know i have a large part in uh let's say you know the songwriting okay uh yeah the original ideas for the songs, uh, mo you know, most of them like start with an idea uh, that I that I put together. Uh, but the great part is when you bring that, and and a lot of that has to do with the lyrics too. Most songs that I write, believe it or not, I actually write the lyric, or I I write the let's say if you want to call it the chorus part. Okay. I kind of write like a memorable chant type chorus and then the rest of the song writes itself around that you know what i mean yeah. so at that point I'll, I'll bring it 
you know, to the band. Uh, how we actually put this record together was originally me and Danny Schuler, uh, the drummer, got together and we musically really stripped every idea down to the to the ground and redid everything uh, with with both of our inputs as we bring the, we brought the songs to the band then lyrically it would be like okay these are the here are the lyrics this is the way the song the fabric of the song goes and then in a lot of cases you know obviously I wound up writing a lot of the lyrics but yeah. you know Danny Danny uh, also like you know, Danny wrote the verses, I think, to at least two of the songs. Okay. Dylan uh, wrote the verse parts probably to at least two of the songs. Uh, and then together, me, Dylan, and Danny get in a room and 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 take the song, and then we, we really want to make sure that every word in the song, we mean it and we stand behind it and what are we trying to say and how are we trying to say it right on. so you know the the lyric the, lyrically the band uh is myself and dylan Gordino, our our singer obviously yes. and danny as far as this record you know as we new songs we have uh, that writing component can always change you know yeah. what i mean look the great thing is this we have a band and everybody has input into everything we do. When you listen to a King's Never Die song, it's a product of all five of the parts. Nice. Everybody puts their 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 touch on it. Everybody adds their ideas to it. And that's the awesome thing about about being in a band. Hell that's yeah. the awesome <laughs> thing about songwriting. That's you know? right. So that's so awesome. You know, it's uh, it, it it it's it's the way it's the greatest part of being in a band is the process of the people. Is you know, it should be a, the product of the people. You exactly. know, and I'm sure for other bands, maybe it works out that just one guy says this is the way the song goes and that's it. You know, that that's <laughs> not the way that I operate, and that's certainly not <laughs> yeah. the way that we operate. Right on. That's good to hear that you guys come together like that. Yeah, that, it, 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 it's the most exciting part about being in a band. Like, the music, it's it's hardcore music. Like, you got to yeah. feel it in your soul. It's got to, like, there there needs to be an emotional shift in you your betcha. body. Yes. Lyrically, lyrically, every word that comes out of Dylan's mouth, uh, I know myself as well. I mean, I do, like, I call them the add-on vocals. You know, like yeah. there's obviously two two different voices uh, in different songs, but like Dylan is the vocalist of the band, and Dylan when he lays these vocals out, when you watch him live, every ounce of his soul, every bit of energy goes into every single word because he feels it from like the bottom of his feet, like it's oh, real. Yeah. And people can tell when something is yes. fraud, and people can tell when something's real. You bet. And you know that. Look, I, I'm going to be honest. Like this record and this band, the, the, I'm most excited, really, for Dylan because he's a guy that, like, maybe people have never heard of before. Or they don't know, or there's no, and that that's awesome. That's what it should be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. The guy is an absolute animal, and he, uh, I'm excited for him to go through this process of releasing the first full length and getting out on the road and people seeing him, like, just tear it up every single night. You okay. know what I mean? It's, it's an interesting, you know, story. There's, there's a story behind Dylan as well. Like, Dylan, you know, me and Danny are, we've been doing this for a long, long time. Yes. Evan's been doing this for 15, 20 years. Larry, the same. You know, Dylan uh, and Evan, I mean, they're much younger than us. Yes. So the band, it's not like, there's no age when it comes to this genre of music. Nobody cares how old people <laughs> are. People care, you know. Exactly. But, but Dylan's much younger than us. And, and 
Dylan is a guy that, like, you know, recently I found, like, you know, Dylan was a college DJ at his college. Hang and on. he played Biohazard and Dog Eat Dog and Mucky Pup when oh, he was yeah. a DJ. Like, Dylan was a fan, I hate to say the word fan, but, you know, he was like a fan growing up of our band. Heck so yeah. for him to be now playing with some of the, you know, some of the guys that had, you know, were a part of those bands. It's it, it's it's an interesting story, and it, it, it's cool, man. It's a it, cool it does path, sound really, you know? really cool. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, it does. Yeah, well, whatever whatever comes out, Vicky. Yeah, exactly. That's what we were saying. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking a little bit about, you know, just also with regards to getting your music, you know, heard and, and uh, you know, picked up out there. We were talking a little bit about that and how difficult that is. I was thinking that uh, maybe we could talk yeah. a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, look, for every band, it's difficult because yes. there's so much. Yes, it's, there is. I mean, digitally. You could you could be sitting in your bedroom and upload a song to Spotify or or where or use uh, DistroKid and it's everywhere or you know it's easy. So look, the hardest part about having a band, especially a newer band like this, is just getting people to just go to Spotify and just give a, a two three songs a listen. Oh, yeah. Like you you'll see you know there's three songs from this from all the rats that are, that's up. Make them anymore, stay true, and this one's for you. Give it a listen. If you don't dig it, don't buy the record. Don't, you know, that. if you dig it, you know, hey, the record comes out May 26th. Hell you can yeah. go, you know, it, it's so easy. It's kingsneverdieofficial.com. You can go to, uh, uh, there's like 15 distributors all over the world you could buy this record from. Right on. Uh, Tower Records, Cortex Records, if you're in Germany, Nuclear Blast, or Cortex Records again, Merch Bar. I mean, it's in 800 to 1,000 record stores all over the United States, it will be. Nice. You know, like, it's, it's not a record that's hard to find. You can get this record anywhere. But the hardest part, before you sell 10 records, is, you know, it's hard to get people just just to go check it out yeah. and see if they dig it. And look, thankfully, we're like, you know, we've been doing, you know, either on the radio or press or write-ups in, in, in fanzines, magazines, like whatever level, like we're, we're grateful for all of it. But so far, I mean, the reaction has been, you know, all really positive. Nice. And, I, and they'll always be negative. Yep. But it's been overwhelmingly... Uh, it, it's kind of almost shocked us a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I just think it's a matter of it's people like you, stations like yours, local promoters like uh, the local promoter in Nashville or Jackson, like or, or and you know in Tennessee. Okay. It's it's somebody saying I want to book this band. I want I'm going to play this band. I'm going to tell my buddies about this band. Like that's the hardest part is just getting people to hear or give your band a chance exactly yeah well that's what i i'm definitely here for that i'm here to help and uh spread it everywhere as uh, much as i can spin that record vicky spin that record <laughs> i'm a spinning <laughs> i'm a spinning but I'm i know that I'm, 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 I'm you're so totally rad and i am so appreciative of your time tonight and i know that you're tight on time and uh Pretty much the same for me, but well, it's been a blast talking we're all with tight you. On time. you. Always, you never, right? You never, never know how long you got. You, you, know? you know it, you know it, and you you make the best of it. But I really do appreciate your time tonight. And uh, before I I let of you course. go, you could plug again. You know when it's coming out. And I was going to ask you if you could make me a quick station tag. You know, it's so funny. <laughs> I'm thinking Metal Devastation Radio, right? Yes. That's what it is. Yep. Metal Devastation Radio. You betcha. Has anybody ever done, like, Metal Devastation? Like, screaming oh, yes. the word devastation? Oh, well, they have. All right, you, I'm not going to do it. Then. 
No, but that that that's <laughs> other people. I don't got a tag like that. I I'd like that. Yeah. I got one tag that's okay, probably so we'll somewhat be like that. at Metal Devastation Radio. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, but look, stu- simple. The album comes out May twenty sixth. Yeah. Right. It's on Metalville Rough Trade, Metalville Records, Rough Trade Records, Rough Trade Distribution. Uh, uh, it's really simple. Hell yeah. Kings Never Die Official. Kings Never Die Official dot com. You can find everything. The the videos. Uh, every video we've done is on our website. You could pre-order the record on our website. You could read about the band. Uh, you could get everything's on that website. And the way to communicate with the band or get a hold of us, if it's a promoter or anybody that just wants to ask a question, just DM us through Instagram. Right and that's Kings. Yeah, it's, it's Kings Never Die Official, but it's Kings underscore never underscore die underscore official that's at Instagram and and that's it like right on two simple ways that you could find out everything right on so badass Dan thank you again so much for talking with me tonight that, that was totally killer <laughs> so of yeah course. yeah anytime I hear we're both trying to be polite <laughs> who's gonna talk first <laughs> Oh, but anyways, I cannot wait to hear the rest of the album and uh, all that good stuff. I'll be keeping it in the playlist and rotation. So uh, anytime you're ready to do the tag, go ahead. Okay. You're listening to Vicky at Metal Devastation <laughs> Radio. Fuck yeah. That was badass. Thank you so much, Dan. <laughs> so I'm, All right. Have a good night. Thank you. You have a good night, too. I'm going to play another one for them, and it's going to be Stand For It All. So uh, you take Ooh. care. Yeah, you take care, and I'm going to blast this for them. <laughs> Killer. Thank, Thank you, Dan. You. You're welcome. All right. Good night. Bye now. Bye. There you go, everybody. That was Dan from the band Kings Never Die. And like I just said... I am going to play Stand For It All. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'll come back and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Thank you all for listening to Lady Red's Bath of Blood here on Metal Devastation Radio.